veteran aims to deliver a more thoughtful, comfort oriented take on the mid-sized SUV market with this stylish C5 Aircross model. If you're after a five-seat contender in this sector that'll look after you a little more, offer up some stylish talking points and give you some clever technology, this one could be worth a look. Set off in a C5 Aircross and one of the first things that Citroen hopes you'll notice is the impressive ride quality and that's embellished by a clever progressive hydraulic cushion suspension system which delivers class leading comfort over porous surfaces. Hydraulic dampers cushion the top and bottom of wheel travel and allow the fitment of softer springs and dampers producing what the brand describes as a magic carpet like feel. Thick quilted advanced comfort front seats further embellish the feeling of Gallic luxury. The inevitable flip side of that is that there's a little more roll through the bends than you get from an obvious class rival, but if you can ignore that, there's actually more grip and traction than you might think, although the somewhat overlight electric steering does its best to disguise that fact. Talking of grip, uh, buyers can specify an optional advanced grip control package that offers grippier tyres, hill assist descent control and extra driving modes which are tailored to different types of terrain. Under the skin, most of the mechanicals are shared with Citroen parent company PSA Group's other five-seat mid-sized SUVs, uh, the Peugeot 3008 and the Vauxhall Grand NX, including the sophisticated EMP2 platform and all the engines. Uh, most buyers will be selecting between the two 130 horsepower units. Uh, the range kicks off with the 1.2-litre three-cylinder PureTech petrol power plant that we've been trying here, uh, which are referencing WLTP recorded figures converted back to the NEDC cycle manages up to 44.2 mpg on the combined cycle and up to 118 grams per kilometer of CO2. We'd prefer the torquier alternative 1.5 litre Blue HDI 130 diesel which can be optionally ordered with the smooth shifting E88 8 speed automatic transmission that really suits this car. That auto box is mandatory with the two more powerful 180 horsepower engines. Uh, there's a 2 litre Blue HDI unit and a 1.6 litre PureTech petrol. Uh, the latter forms the basis too for the plug-in hybrid powertrain that Citroen has also developed for this car. Citroen has carefully sized this C5 Aircross, making it a five-seat design, but quite a large one, with a 4.5-metre length, which slots it into the centre of the mid-sized SUV segment. Familiar brand styling features include this raised muscular bonnet and the usual Citroen two-tier lighting signature, with these top units housing the LED daytime running lights and the lower ones being used for the headlamps. Uh, buyers can colour personalise these lower air intakes, the roof rails and the lower side seal air bumps in either red, silver or as here in white. The wheels can be 17, 18 or 19 inches in size and under the skin lies the light stiff EMP2 platform that all this car's PSA Group SUV cousins also ride on. Time to take a seat inside. Now, as with most modern Citroëns, what you'll find here is a mixture of interesting design, a few cheaper plastics, and some clever electronics. Oh, and lovely seats with the ones that you're most likely to get being of the generously proportioned advanced comfort variety, which feature particularly broad bases, foam that's 15 millimeters thicker than usual for extra support, and extra quilted padding. The result is a feeling of cosseting Gallic luxury. Uh, the instrument binnacle is another cabin talking point. Uh, the conventional dials have been completely replaced by a standard 12.3 inch color screen, which is fully configurable and customizable. Um, just about everything else that you'll need to know can be found here on this eight inch center dash capacitive touch screen, uh, which uh, really delivers everything you'd want. Uh, the usual DAB stereo, phone, navigational and smartphone mirroring functions, plus Wi-Fi and a connected apps package. It would be better if it wasn't burdened with uh, dealing with the ventilation controls so we could do with a bit more cabin storage. Uh, the glove box, that's really quite small, uh, but the driving position here is nicely commanding. Plus, the stitched detail touches and the cloth and grain leather upholstery is nicer than you'd expect to find at this price point. Time to take a seat in the rear. 
Once inside, you'll find a much bigger cabin than you'll get in cheaper segment contenders like Nissan's Qashqai and Seat Attica, and you'll get what Citroen claims is the most modular rear bench arrangement in the class. Uh, it's certainly very versatile. It's made up of three individual sliding, folding and reclining seats. And out back, uh, once the hatch is raised, you're faced with a large 580 litre boot. Uh, getting to the stowage area means negotiating this rather high loading lip, but a standard adjustable height boot floor has been designed in. The total capacity figure certainly shouldn't disappoint, uh, up to 1,630 litres of space being on offer from the flat seats retracted cargo area. The progressive hydraulic cushion suspension of a C5 Aircross isn't going to be much use to it in the Saharan desert, but it'll help it immensely in the much more challenging environment that this car will actually spend its life in. Yours, a school-run world of speed humps, potholes, tarmac tears and long taxing days that require your automobile to look after you on the drive home. This car's emphasis on comfort won't endear it to magazine road testers or people who, well, rather mystifyingly, want their family SUV to handle with sporting sharpness. And there are cheaper cars in the Qashqai class and there are contenders that might tempt you with classier cabins or with an extra row of seats. But if you can look beyond all that, there's much here to like aside from the cosseting ride, the spacious interior, the versatile back seat arrangement and the neat equipment touches like the connected cam dash camera. In summary, it's refreshing to see this Gallic brand getting back to what it does best. We think that this car stands out as a result. You might too.